I seem to be a magnet for clowns. After just beating up Josh, I had a new thorn in my side. If you don't tap me in Tobago, I'm stealing your girl. Meet Carson, a small YouTuber trying to clout chase, Reddit's most hated BJJ poster, and your average blue belt that smashes white belts then calls out the big dogs. Even when I went to Tobago, I couldn't get away from this guy. I let him talk his talk, and I finally gave him the opportunity to see how he could do in a fight with me. You know, there are good black belts and there are Okay, black belts. I would say Tyler's is anything close to great. His guillotine really isn't that good. I felt it already. Maybe a white or blue belt level guillotine. When he's rolling, make sure you get good shots of his face. He always looks like he's sucking a dick when he's rolling. I'm, I'm very confident, but I really don't think I need it. The time has finally come where I can rid the world of this complete clown after he's decided to trash talk me and everybody else. Carson has been a plague on this world for too long, and as if that wasn't bad enough, he decided to pull guard and completely skip it on the wrestling. There's no faster way to ditch your manlyhood than falling to your butt, and it should be no surprise his next attack is to go for my feet. It looks like he's been doing some homework because he knows I'm not good defending against leg attacks. But then I remember, this guy's basically a pink belt. Even though he's giving this 110% effort, this is like my daughter trying to pull my foot and I easily can outlast his grip then pass right into side control. Now like most clowns that end up challenging me, their gas tank lasts just as long as they would with Mia Khalifa, and just like her, I'm not impressed. Carson had his 5 seconds of glory where he felt like he could rip off my heel, but now he's just giving me his back as I lock in a tight body triangle and roll him over to his side. And thanks to not skipping leg day, I'm putting too much pressure on his rib cage that I don't even need to lock up the choke and he ends up tapping, looking for the quickest way out. Now that was a quick tap from Mr. Foulmouth, but don't worry, there'll be some educational content in this video as well. Things start to look a little bit better for Carson as he regains his manlyhood by doing some wrestling and shooting in a single leg, but I guess my white belt level guillotine was just too much for him because as I wrap up the head and pass right into mount, he quickly regrets everything he had to say about my choke. It's blue belt level, Carson. You're fine. I'll admit after tapping this bully two times, I thought he would quit, but bullies never learned their lesson. So leave it to me to show this blue belt where he really belongs. Off these jujitsu mats. I find that ironic that he said my jujitsu sucks, but he used to pull guard just to get ankle locked from a different angle in front of his girlfriend. Tap to now I know you guys are thinking this is looking like a bit of a clinic, and it should be. Saying my jiu-jitsu sucks is one thing and I deserve that, but trying to take my girl, you better have some balls to back that one up. As some revenge, I cut a promotion on him. You want good rash guards? Xmarshall.com? Don't go Tyler 10. <laughs> and you won't tap you gotta let him talk to you like that, Carso? Then after telling him about my rash guards, he tapped. <laughs> And for all the sadists watching this video, let's get another one going quickly. I fall down and throw my leg over for a quick reap into the ankle lock and... Tap, tap, tap. Ah. I do want to make this obvious that I wasn't trying to hurt Carson at all, but if you couldn't tell from his trash talk to me, he clearly likes to exaggerate. But I gotta give this guy some credit. I've been ragging on his wrestling this whole time, but he shot a great double on me to pick me right up and unfortunately landed in my favorite submission, the guillotine. Didn't take me too long to get to a dominant position where I could apply a ton of top pressure to him and he was forced to submit once again. I really don't think I need it. Now I really don't recommend that you go down the same street you just watched somebody get mugged, but that doesn't apply to Carson. Instead, he shoots in again with his arms so wide like an airplane and he lands in the tightest guillotine that absolutely slaps and he taps in less than a second. And trust me, this didn't look any better from his girlfriend's point of view either. I'll be making a guillotine course shortly for the low price of your child's soul that lets you finish off men fast like me, so stay tuned for some greatness and you can beat those bullies. Because as you can see, only a bully like Carson would respect that I just tapped him and he immediately attacked me, wanting to go into another guillotine until he can learn his lesson as he shoots a single egg on me, gets wrapped up into another choke, but this time I give him that wrestler special by fishing in for an underhook, switching off to a cow catcher, and getting him with a stylish submission. Now despite Carson's jiu-jitsu game somehow being worse than Biden's presidential run, the show must go on. Clearly wanting to keep his game plan at a second grade reading level, he shot in and glanded into another guillotine. From here I just had to choke him worse than his uncle did when he snuck into his room and I got him with another submission. But unfortunately for me, every good thing must come to an end, because I floundered pretty hard here as I showed my cards a little too early going for a calf slicer. I didn't have everything locked up and I was starting to fall back and Carson took this advantage so he could work on top of me and he transitioned right into his own knee bar. As I was trying to stand up and kick my way out, he rolled belly down so everything should be really tight. But then I remembered this dude is definitely a bottom. 
because there is absolutely no way when my leg is this straight and all you need to do is use a little bit of hip pressure that you don't break it. Once I was able to pull his hips in and reduce his leverage, then I was able to continue rolling until I found my way out by pushing his leg down. From here, I just had to introduce him to my French ancestors with another guillotine, and I welcomed him to the revolution. Now the round was pretty much over, or so I thought, so I knew I wanted to tap him at least one more time. Realizing this child's ankles were made of paper, I fell into another ankle lock, didn't even have to lock up a full grip, and he tapped instantly. Now normally I'd squash the B from here, until he wanted to start talking to me like this. He's just starting, we all gotta start somewhere. As a coach to him, I really wanted to give him a good run for his money. I wanted to create openings that he could showcase his skills for his YouTube channel. I know, I know, hey, 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 dude, I'll talk. I know he does this little YouTube thing, so I want to give him good content for the channel. So because his loud mouth just couldn't stop talking, I had his girlfriend record another round of us, and I took it from him without him knowing. I'm not going to show the whole thing, but here are some highlights of me completely destroying this fool. And you know it wouldn't be a good ending if I did not completely emasculate Carson by turning him into my cellmate. <laughs> so who's next? I've got a lot of trash to take out of my upcoming videos, so make sure to subscribe to watch environmentally friendly Tyler clean up these mats. It doesn't matter the rank, I'll take them all. Don't forget promo Tyler10 to xmarshall.com to get some stylish gear and you won't be a clown like these guys.